Hey everybody, Chris Grandy coming to you from Klein Family Cellars, which is a vineyard in Sonoma, Southern Sonoma. It's about a 15 minute drive from, you know, where we are. And so it's easy to come out here. And as uh, many of you know, that uh, those of you who got wine bottles from me as gifts, uh, this is the place that makes that um, um, cashmere black that a lot of you like. And uh, so anyway, uh, a couple things. One is I want to let you know I have an upcoming video with, uh, you know, I do my entrepreneur in interview series and I've got interview that I've filmed but need to edit with what I think is what I think is the top, um, one of the top Froyo owners in the country. Just one of the best fro run Froyo businesses I, I have ever seen and I've been all over. So I want to, uh, that's coming up as soon as I can finish the editing. It was a long one. He shared a lot of stuff, a lot of thoughts. So that should be a good thing for us to, uh, for you to see. Today's video, I wanted to do it on this, um, the angst that, uh, the topic I want to be is the angst that happens when you, when, when the market is climbing and you have, you're not fully invested. So you may have, um, you know, I get to talk to people, they've got some higher net worth, they've got a lot of money in the market, but they've got a significant amount of money sitting in cash that they wish were invested. And they're uh, asking me, should they invest? Uh, you can sense the, the, the anxious, urgency because they feel like they're missing out on something first off uh, what I would advise you to do is just remember your overall allocation and your goals I've had a lot of videos talking about planning for your goals not for trying to just make money and so if your current allocation is the is a good allocation for you to hit your goals with the risk uh, kind of metrics you're comfortable with then that's fine you don't need to rush into the market second is is it's always difficult to chase a market up uh, you might make some, but it might not might be the, you know, typically when people get really anxious about getting in the market, it's kind of near the top. I'm not saying we're near a top, but just saying that happens sometimes. And you might feel really bad if you were to chase the market up and then, then suddenly lose 20%. Um, so just a couple things. Third is, is, is realize how much you might already be invested. So I mean, you're planning for your goals. You don't want to chase markets. That's not a good trading strategy. Remember, just to back up a second, when you chase a market, now you're becoming a trader. Like, I want to get in because it's hot. You're not thinking, and again, I do some trading, but um, that's that would be trading and not only that bad trading if you not don't have a, a system of, uh, attached to it. So, you know, think about your goals, that your allocation is planned towards that. Don't chase hot markets. And third, uh, you know, just generally speaking, you know, if you're 80% invested and you have 20% in cash, I mean, that's still pretty heavily exposed, especially for those of you watching this that are, you know, over the age of 50, that's a solid uh, risk exposure. And I wouldn't feel like I'm missing out on anything if I have 80% of my money in stocks and 20% in cash. So, or 20% in conservative stuff. Could be the bank, could be a money market. So just, I want you just all, this is just a quick video to take it easy. Okay, if you don't have a plan, get a plan together. This is where an advisor can help people a lot of times with the coaching, not necessarily picking the right stocks, but with just, you know, if you have $5 million, you want somebody there who's gonna advise and coach you on, on, on tactics and mindset that's gonna help you. This is where an advisor comes in as a helpful uh, guide. So just take it easy. All right, remember your allocation, remember your goals. Don't become a trader if you're not one. And if you have any questions, drop them below or send me a message if you need to be talked down away from the cliff and you're worried about being missing out on the market, etc. cetera. Uh, I have another video I'm gonna link below actually if you feel like you're overexposed to the market and you'd like to cut back, how do you do that in a tax-friendly way? You know, if you just dumped 20% of your portfolio, you might have a huge tax bill. How do you, how can you get from your current allocation to something more conservative without a huge tax bill? I have another video where I discuss some ways you can do that. So that's, I'll link that below. But for those back to you on the main topic of today that are worried to fear of missing out, what they call FOMO these days, take it easy, take a breath, give me a call, all right, if you have to. But if you need to vent, drop a comment below. Again, um, just take it easy, okay? Look forward to hearing from you. I'll do another video soon. Like I said, I got that one coming up with the interview. If you like the video, please click like below. If you want to subscribe, subscribe, and we'll catch you all soon. Have a great day.